Alright, we are streaming, as I always have to say during the beginning of my stream. Uh, welcome to Going Digital with DigiDesin. Today we are playing some Mega Man X. Uh, we'll leave, we're leaving off, we're starting where we left off last time. Uh, trying to work on Vile. Hopefully I can get through it this, this time around, but I mean, we'll see. Okay. Turn up the... Turn up the game music, and then turn down this music. That way... Hold up. Maybe test out the audio real quick. Maybe test out the audio real quick. Does that work? Maybe game audio higher, my voice lower. That echo though. There's gonna be an echo real quick. <laughs> echo, There's gonna be an echo real quick. <laughs> oh, that should be good. Okay. That works out. Okay, so I've already put in the password uh, to give me the exact upgrades. I went back to my last... Hey, Moy, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I went into my last stream to pick up the password, and so this is the exact password of my last game. And hopefully, uh, we're going to be able to beat it this time around. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I'm going to go back to Storm Eagle because I realized I didn't get the helmet upgrade. And that's something I probably should do. Okay. Oh, do I like that? Can't decide whether I like. Last time I was having trouble with my dash button. Oh, great.
Ooh. Wasn't even looking. How's everyone's night going? That was risky, I almost died there. I don't think I need anything down there. Oh wait. It's over here. There we go. This would probably help during vial fights. Escape. Now we can move on to vial or an attempt at vial. Uh, I was having a lot of issues with this one. I think this is the worst level um, out of them all, just because of um, this part specifically, and uh, the spider box, they're always called. Retro Edition, what's going on, man? Glad you can make it to the stream. These things. No! I was too eager. <laughs> Glad you can make it, Retro Edition. Uh, right now, I'm, this is a continuation of where I was last stream. Um, this is the first stage of Vile, or not Vile, of uh, Sigma. And I kind of rage quit. Because of the spider boss. Have you not beaten, beaten this game before, Retro Edition? Alone. Played a little, not one of owned. Definitely worth the play uh, if you're gonna play any Mega Man X. This is kind of a, a classic. Easily one of my favorites. Um, I mean, Super Nintendo has a great library, but this is like one of my favorite games on Super Nintendo. It's a great action platformer. I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> I 
this is going to be the fight with Vile. Um, last time, I, <laughs> I wasted all my homing torpedoes on him. Because I forgot that this actually isn't the boss fight. If you're coming in from, uh, I don't know, Twitter or Instagram or something, I had a poll going uh, for what game I should play today. I had like Overwatch on there, I had Splatoon, I had this game, uh, or to finish this game, and then I also had like something else. Uh, you know, it's pretty apparent that this one won. I think it was like 43% or something. Actually, let's see. Yeah, so we had Finish Mega Man at 43%, and then Overwatch and Splatoon were tied at 29%. Nobody wanted anything else. So that's pretty cool. I guess you guys really, really want to see me play this. Or beat it. Which would be cool, this would be like the, technically the third... The third game I beat on this stream. What was his weakness? Was it the homing? Does anybody remember what his weakness is? Man, I can't remember. I'll look it up real quick. Yeah, so each each Maverick has its own weakness, just like any other any other uh, Mega Man game. His weakness is... The homing, which is great. Okay. not bad at all <clears throat> okay I'm out of life though I need some I need to farm for some life Thank you. 
We are on... Hey, Mega Retro Man, thanks for joining us, man. We are on... What's it called? The spider. And its weakness is... Is it the ice? I have no idea. I want to say it was the ice. Oh well. tips for this mega retro man this is like my worst boss ever and hopefully you found a copy of Mario Kart 7 so if you guys haven't heard Nintendo's actually doing uh, Nintendo World Championships 2017 Yeah, Nintendo World Championships 2017, and uh, the qualifying game. Ah, uh, he's Mario Kart 7. Yeah, that's what happens when I try to talk. It's, I wish I could go back and get some more ice because I wasted a lot. Oh boy. Yeah, so to qualify for a world championship, uh, 2017, oh man, uh, let's see, pause, it's going that way, and that way, yeah. Um, it's to qualify with a specific time. Oh, I missed it, dang it, um, on Mario Kart 7. Sorry, I'm doing this. It's the only way I can figure out how to beat him. So he goes that way, that way. Okay. Now I'm on my own. Okay, I should be good with this. Hooray! That's my cheap way of beating it, because I had to push pause to to imagine how the pattern looks and where he's gonna be, or else I'll just waste a life. 
<clears throat> yeah, and I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, yeah, qualifying times. Uh, you can check out Nintendo World Championships uh, 2017. They'll give you all the information. Uh, they're going to be taking place at Best Buy uh, across the nation. And uh, yeah, I mean, go play. It doesn't cost any money. Uh, they're going to have Super Mario Odyssey there as well, as well as uh, Samus Returns. Uh, you can test those out there. It's going to be a super fun event. They usually have free swag, so if you want like Nintendo stuff... I thought it was the fastest time. What did I say? Oh! boss is this? This is Chill Penguin, huh? Yeah. Made made it sound like there was a time we had to beat to qualify. <clears throat> no, it's it's the fastest time. That's my mistake. Um. What I was thinking is there's there's typically times online where you can go, and you can uh, oops, whatever, and you can like practice essentially and try to beat those times. Let's see how you match up. Going on, Pete. Glad you could make it. Storm Eagle. Got so many games, man. Welcome. And we got like everyone on tonight. Whoops. Appreciate all you guys making it out. And we were just talking about uh, Nintendo World Championships 2017, which is super exciting. All you have to do is go to your the nearest Best Buy, which can be found on. I gotta start paying attention. Uh, Nintendo World Championship 2017, that website, and uh, you find the near city. Oh. 
Come on. I participated in the qualifier for 2015, and it was super fun. Yeah, I think there's there's two uh, categories. Um, there's a 12 and younger, and then 13 and older. Uh, 12 and younger, you get to play as Mario with a certain setup, and then 13 and older, you're playing as ooh. Um, you're playing as Bowser. Am I heading down to it? Yes, I'm gonna try to make it down uh, if it fits my schedule. Yeah, but even if you go to not compete, that's fine. Um, all you have to do is uh, sign a waiver, I think, uh, and then you can have access to the event. Um, you can play if you want. They're pretty laid back. Um, but I'm going mostly to try out Super Mario Odyssey and uh, Metroid Samus Returns and get a whole bunch of free swag if they have it. So, what's up here? Is this the boss? Oh, this guy. Ow. Dang it. Yeah, so there's only one that's going to be in Washington State, and that's in Tequila. In 2015, it was in... Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, it was in Tacoma. And I managed to make it out of work to, to get there. Oh, these bosses are going to be a pain if I can't beat...
Yeah, Mega Retro Man's probably... Probably gonna make it out to the qualifiers. I'm guessing. That's my... That's my prediction. Oh no! How did I jump out of it? A lot of people that want to meet up eventually. I got John Riggs as well. <clears throat> Riggs is coming. <sighs> Come on. Oh, I need the extra life. Still down there? No. Oh. Man. I'm messing up big time here. Okay. Whatever. Maybe I'll just... Sounds good. It'll be nice to meet more local gamers. Meet up and have dinner afterwards. Go to round one. Oh, got your Ogato. Nice, man. It's gonna be exciting. It's in your wife's car, so you haven't had a chance to try it yet. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. It's gonna take time to figure things out. Oh! That's pretty loud. But Cheshire On. Is that how you pronounce it? Cheshire On is now following. Why is that so loud, though? Ho ho ho, buddy. How do I have it turned up so loud? <laughs> that was a surprise. A good one at that. Okay. Where are we at? Cheshire Dawn. Dawn as in your name or like Dawn as in like a bowl from Japan. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just farming for some... For that thing. I want that thing. Okay. I'm just gonna... Skip through this whole part. What? Oh. Your name. Did you check out the Retro Fighters N64 controller? Uh, yes I did. It looks awesome actually. Very cool. Trade Night in Renton. Oh, okay. 
I remember you. We're friends on Facebook. You had a... You were the one with all the Famicom games, right? Okay. Let's see. Trying to see if Rangda Bangda has a weakness. Can anybody tell me if they do? Eh, whatever. I'll just go with the Buster. I'm looking for a weakness for this guy here. If not, I'm just gonna go with the, the buster. Chameleon works well. Oh, that would have been to be, be good to know uh, before I beat it. But I guess it worked out. I like that boss. It's a fun one. Okay. Sigma stage three. I think I've beaten this game. Maybe three times, but I don't memorize anything. <laughs> oh wait. Was Storm Eagle or is it the Spark? I'm gonna say it's a spark. Nope, it's not that. <laughs> um, I think it's spark. It's not that. Ice. I thought it was the spark. Let me try it again. There we go. Yeah, I thought it was the Spark one, because I was trying to remember, I went from Spark Mandrel uh, to Rolling Armadillo, but then that first shot didn't really work out for me. <laughs> so, question myself. Okay, oh, this is Sting. Right? 
my least favorite Maverick. That's probably like the best run I've ever had against Stink Chameleon. <laughs> it took me like five tries to beat him last time. At least. How's everyone's night going, man? I, I know I'm playing Mega Man X, but what are you guys playing? Can I get those? I can get those with the, the boomerang, right? that I need that. Oh, I should have saved it, huh? Oh well. Oh no, Spark Mandrel. He's ice? We'll go with ice. Yeah. Just beat Fantasy Star 4 night before last. Nice. It's good to hear people playing the games. Good to hear... Oh no. Launch Octopus. Good to hear people playing their games, beating them. Launch is weak to the homing? No, that's his. So it's got to be Storm Eagles? That's my guess. Fantasy Star 4. I've never been much of a Fantasy Star guy. Not it. Rolling shield, that's it. Way behind playing backlog of RPGs. I've wanted to play for a long time. Dude, tell me about it. Uh, even though I've avoided RPGs, JRPGs a lot lately, um, I just can't handle them. It's like too much time. I like games I can just beat and I uh, call it good. It's 
Screw it. Okay. No flame mammoth. Barely one peg of health. Oh, I'm not going to survive this one. Pick up and play games on my DS all the time. Lately, it's been Mario vs. DK Li Mini Land Mayhem. That is a series I haven't touched recently, uh, actually. Um, I heard it's good. Which is something I'd have, probably have to pick up and, and try out. But. Oh, dang it. Kind of a puzzle game, quick levels, when I have like 10 to 15 minutes I can get through a few of them. But don't you ever, at least for me, uh, when I end up playing games, I, uh, I, I play the 10-15 minutes uh, per level and then I just keep going and going and going, especially if they have worlds, uh, which is notorious in, in Super Mario games. Um, you know, if they have worlds, I'm like, I'll finish this world, and I get to the next one, I'm like, I'll beat one level, and then next thing I know, I'm like, one level away from beating the whole world, then I'll beat the whole world, then I move on to the next one, and uh, so on and so forth. But, I mean, that's, it's just, it's not a bad thing, because I end up playing the games, but uh, it is somewhat annoying sometimes, because I'm like, oh, I'll only play for a little bit. Uh, how's the battle going? I am on the third stage of, of Sigma. So I made a little bit of progress, uh, which is good. But I only have like two lives left, as you can see, and I'm, I'm taking a quick break. But hopefully I can do it. I'd like to beat this game. This is way easier with the boomerang cutter. Oh. I should have used that before.
And I'm looking this stuff up. Um, I have played this game before. I just don't remember it, and you know, I don't want to spend an hour on one stage. I just, I want to, I want to beat the game, and that's what I want to show you guys. And Mega Man or Mega Man games are fairly manageable uh, as long as you know the strategies behind them. Oh, I don't like that. I think I fight a wolf type creature first. Legends 2? Oh, Legacy 2 you mean? Or uh, Mega Man Legends 2 on PlayStation? Because one's a little bit easier to get, one's a little bit more... <laughs> one's a little bit more harder to get, and a little bit more expensive as well. Yeah, I, I mean, I plan on doing it. I, I def definitely want to pick up uh, Legacy 2, mostly because... Ow. Leave me alone. It's not good. Sigma. Equip the e-spark and hide in the left-hand corner. Huh. That doesn't seem very fun. I'll give it a try though. He's got a sword. Say what? Oh, I see what they're talking about. Okay. This might be one of those things. Ow. It will take me a while. <laughs> Did I mention I want to play Mega Man 9 and 10? Ow. This time it game over. Oh boy, game over. That's a fun. That's okay though. It's 
So we got Cheshire Dawn playing Final, uh, Fantasy Star 4. What else is everyone else playing? This looks tough. It, It's okay. Um, every boss has a pattern. I'm not very good at this game. I make it look a lot harder than it actually is. <laughs> Which is sad. You know, I'm sure... Uh, I mean, like I was mentioning before, um, every Mega Man game is, is pretty darn manageable if you uh, understand the boss's patterns. And their weaknesses. Gravity Rush. How's that going? MNC Dover. Welcome to the stream. We are playing some Mega Man X. Trying to beat it. We're on the last third stage? I don't know. One of those. Ow. Getting close. I'll just try to do it with the buster. I feel like I'm more confident with the buster. What's really fun about this game is, uh, or not fun about this game is, watching people Yeah, I changed my pattern. Um, but what's really fun about this is watching People would do Buster only runs of it. Man. Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna... It's not good. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it with the buster. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, chat. <laughs> As I was talking about how I don't like spending like an hour on one level. <laughs> At least give me an elevator. This is... Sigma's smart for making this, because then Mega Man's all tired from the jump. And there's like one more... I think there's one more form too.
Oh, I don't have any more. I'm like, why isn't it shooting? I think I'm just going to use the buster this time around. I'm going to go with it this time. I'm going to I'm going to beat it. You ever go to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo? I'm going for the first time ever this year. Uh, I'm hoping to go for the first time this year, actually. I've never been. I heard it's pretty good, though. Oh no. This is impossible. Nobody's ever beaten this game ever. <laughs> Cheshire Dawn, are you gonna be trying to go to vend or are you just going to attend? Because I know Retro Edition is actually planning on vending with uh, Mr. John Riggs and uh, another buddy of ours. Bringing stuff for trade, though. I hear you, man. I just don't know what to what would I would bring for trade. I don't know what people are looking for.
I feel bad at this pattern for some reason. I can barely make a dent on him. Be able to skip the cutscene. You have Shantae for Game Boy Color and Mega Man Legends 2 for PlayStation. Oh boy, that's some that's some heavy trade bait. <laughs> how'd you uh, how'd you come upon a, a copy of Shantae? Espark. My body is like twitching because I'm like, I'm nervous about this. Oh no, I messed up! So close. Random is a bunch of Game Boy games in Burlington. Dude, that's that's awesome. <sighs> Wish I could do that. Even though I did come across a pretty darn good bundle today, uh, off of offer up. Had a it was an N64 bundle with about 23 games. Uh, the system with three controllers and uh, all the games were solid titles the only problem is like my thumb gets cramped while jumping so like my coordination level goes down
Okay. There we go. I got when I went to like super focus mode. Okay, so there's one more. My heart's beating so fast right now. Like, even though I've been this before, it's it's kind of ridiculous. Okay. This is the last. Oh my gosh. This is the last mode or the last uh, form. What I do need is some sub tanks. I don't have any sub tanks. That'd be so. That'd be so useful. Okay. Says I need the rolling shield. Oh man. What is this garbage? I guess all that life didn't really matter, huh? <laughs> they should just give it to me like at... Uh, the final form. I worked pretty hard to get there. But will they? Of course they won't. Alright, welcome to the next hour of the stream, where I'm going to be fighting Sigma. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. If I go through the two first stages correctly, I should be able to do it without losing any life. But I don't, I don't have any more sparks. Gonna be a long one.
My thumb. <laughs> I know what I need to do. I just need to do it. No life lost on this one. What is your favorite Mega Man game? My favorite... Are we talking Mega Man or just Me Me Mega Man X? Uh, specific series or just in general any Mega Man game? Any. Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. I really like Mega Man 4 because that was the first one I've ever beat. Um, I know it's not the best. Mega Man X, this one is also very good. Uh, like, Mega Man X, I can pick up and play at any time. Uh, I can't beat at any time, obviously. Uh, but it's, you know, I enjoy it every single time I do play it. Um, Mega Man X3 uh, is probably another contender just because that was the first Mega Man X game I played uh, and that was the first Super Nintendo game that I played and beat uh, back when I got back into gaming so um, yeah I think that was back when I was I want to say I was 13 when I first played Mega Man X3. What about yours? What's your favorite? Or anybody else in the chat, what's your favorite Mega Man game? Okay, now that we have... Did we game over last time? Yes, we did. Thank goodness.
Okay. Haven't played much of X2 or X3 myself. Mega Man 2 is probably my favorite. And the music, awesome. Music, I will say that the music is awesome. Um, okay. Mega Man 2 is pretty good. Ow. This is a pain. Whoop. Maybe I should get some E-Tanks. I think E-Tanks would definitely help. You know, I'm just gonna die on this one. I've decided. And I'm going to find out where the E-Tanks are, because I need those. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have one on Spark Mandrel stage. Storm Eagle stage, Flame Mammoth stage, and Armored Armadillo. Okay. So let's go to Spark Mandrel stage. I think the sub tanks are gonna help me a lot. Where is it? Stay on the bottom level whenever possible. Okay. Oh, I see. How am I supposed to get it? Come to me. <laughs> Who knows what I'm doing wrong? What am I doing wrong here? Oh. 
That makes so much sense. I thought I tried that, but I guess not. Alright, next one is Storm Eagle stage. Let's go for it. Storm Eagle. I think I should probably memorize this by now. I'm not supposed to kill that thing. Whoops. Does it come back? Thank you. I'm an idiot. Play Mammoth. What's up here, huh? Last one is Armored Armadillo. Okay. Who would have thought that the last four levels of the, the game would take me the whole stream? Wait, okay. Oh, my God. 
Oh, I can't even get hit by that. Spikes. I should fill up my E-Tank, right? Yeah. Cool. That's the last E tank. I just gotta fill him up. Too full. Two, four, two, eight, nineteen eighty. Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you could uh, make it on the stream. Sorry if there's not much going on here. I'm just kind of farming for life so I can fill up my E tanks. Should be close. Last one? No. the last one. Yes. And four lives. If I can get one more. No. Okay. We are all good to go. 
how often do I stream? I typically stream once a week. Uh, it's usually on Wednesdays uh, at 8 o'clock. Uh, that's typically when my my schedule allows me to stream. Um, I don't know. I, I, with the job and uh, you know other things going on in my life, and I'm, I'm actually working on switching careers. Uh, I've been pretty busy, and I'd love to stream more. Uh, but you know, it's life. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so once a week, every Wednesday at 8 o'clock, unless something else goes on. Uh, but I always notify, you know, my, my channels, my Twitch, my YouTube, my Instagram, uh, my Facebook. So if you give that a follow at DigiDestin, uh, you can see, like, all those little icons down there. Just search that. I'm, I'm the only one around. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Give those a follow and you know exactly when I'm streaming all the time. Plus you can keep up with all my my pickups and uh, other experiences with retro gaming. You know, collecting, uh, meeting new people, events. I've met a lot of cool people doing um, ever since I started doing this. Or becoming more public with my retro gaming. Now let's see if I can remember how to play this. Whenever I stream, it's typically the the usual bunch, you know, you got uh, Retro Edition, Castlemania Games, Oh My God Pete, and Carrot, just about it, you know, it's pretty low-key stream. Uh, it's just something, honestly, for me to, to play my games, to document me playing the games so people can't complain that I don't play them, you know, that kind of thing. Take there. Oh, that was close. I'm just gonna do this just in case. No, no! Okay. The next buster.
Okay, we still got three sub tanks. Just gonna make sure I don't get hit by those spikes, because those spikes are killer. Two sub tanks left. I really want to finish this game. I have to finish this game. How did I beat this as a kid? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. I probably can't farm life. So I can definitely farm uh, power-ups. makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Hmm, I get the hiccups. Why do I have the hiccups?
Okay. Okay, let's try that. Let's try farming. That's life. Don't need that. Huh. I can take that. Don, you are a genius. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. It's just one of those things where... That you don't think of. It's one of those things you don't think of while you're playing. This is gonna make my life so much easier. I'm so much happier. Oh, I can farm my sub tanks too. I didn't even think of that. This is a game changer. Don't need that. Now if only if I could only get some better hands. Yeah, they despawn, but that's okay. I don't need that. I mean, it's not like my thumbs are sore, it's just like I get crab hands. Like, they get cramped. Especially with the controller, because I'm playing on an actual Super Nintendo. So I, I have this controller, and like I'm holding it, and my finger, this finger doesn't want to go down, because I don't use this trigger unless I'm switching uh, weapons. And then I have my dash e equipped to my left button, which was a bad move. I thought I liked it with the left button, but I actually like it with the right button. I don't know, it's. Sorry, I'm so silent. I usually talk a lot. But I'm really <laughs> determined to beat this game. Right, let's go for it.
Why is it not going up? I feel like it's not going up. Are you guys noticing that? It's not going up? Yeah, it's not going up. Oh well. Let's get on with it. Okay. Woo! My forearm.
Oh well. Missed it. No E tanks left. Hmm. Oh, my God. 
Seems like I'm getting this farming thing down pretty well. Oh, shoot. Just kidding. <laughs> Give me lives, but I don't need lives. I need those. Yeah, I'm still going, man. I'm just having trouble with Vile. Or not Vile, Sigma. The final one. And right now I'm just farming for stuff. Sub tanks aren't filling up for some reason. I'm just not very good at this game. Yeah, my sub-tanks aren't filling up. That's okay, I'll just go with it. But thanks for coming back, I appreciate it. I just keep dying at the last stage. The very last form. This is like the majority of my stream here, just on this. What's the what's the ideal time for you, man? For uh, for Mario Kart Seven. Okay, Maverick Hunter. Let's do this. Stuck at 122. Have you seen anybody else's times? Shoot, I wasted that one. Shoot.
couple of 120s, 119, 118. What's the world record, do you know? How far off are you on that? Okay. Ooh, that was close. I should probably just use it. so much damage That was probably my best attempt. Cheshire Don, you're still here, man. I really appreciate it. It's been a battle. If I had one more E-Tank, I think I would have beaten him. Alright man, uh, thanks for- thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. Hope I hope I can see you on the next one. with some of the 
Oh, no way. How'd you uh, come up with that arrangement? I really hope they only take qualifiers this time around for 2017 uh, because last year they had some people that were invited like celebrities, YouTube stars, uh, known game players, uh, that sort of thing. It didn't really make it that exciting because some of them weren't very good at video games. That would be like me going up there. Yeah, we're talking about World Championships. I know we're good enough for that either. Just go and enjoy it, man. That's all you gotta do. Down in Tequila, Washington. Um, it's not that bad of a drive, at least for me. And uh, go get some free swag. Go try out Super Mario Odyssey. Go try out Metroid Samus Returns. Time to do this. Time to beat Sigma. That flame always gets me.
Oh no, I got too close to it. I really wish they'd kept the NWC Remix as the qualifier. Hands down, that would have been all mine. Oh, I bet, man. I'm guessing they wanted to give, give the kids a chance. Because um, they are doing, like, divisionals now. Age divisions. Like, not every kid's good at Mario Kart, but there's a lot of kids that are good at Splatoon and Mario Kart. Or, there's not a lot of kids good at NWC, but you get what I mean. And I honestly would not be surprised uh, if they did Splatoon in arms for the actual championship. That's my guess. Fingers. give me two sub tanks. Do you know what that's what the reason is for that Mega Retro Man? Why they only give me two sub tanks? I, I can only fill up two. life here.
<laughs> Guess that worked out. Okay, rolling shoot. What? That takes up so much damage. Inside the tips of his hands. Like below them? Can I stay up there forever? I did not think it would take this long to, <sighs> to beat this.
As long as the lightning doesn't touch you, I can stay up there forever. Oh my goodness. We'll see if... What about the energy balls? They don't... They don't travel up that high, huh? Huh. Huh. Let's see if I can do it, though. If I happen to do it on this try, because of that, oh my gosh. Don't touch me. Probably the most annoying boss in the whole game. Actually, I don't know. Inner, inner tip of the hands? Is that what you're saying? Or the outer tip? Like there? Doesn't look like it's working. Inner, okay. Well, we're off to a bad start. to jump. Oh, I can't hit his head, huh?
Oh no! Not the flames. I get it. I just wish they gave me a checkpoint or something. This right here is a pain. No, all the for some reason all the sub tanks will not fill up. It only allows me to fill up two of them, which is weird. I mean, maybe I could exit the level and then come back. Maybe I'll try it after this one. Ow. make it super complicated. I thought you were hitting now, man. Can't believe you're like painstakingly watching me like fail at this game. Committed. Feels like you've seen it beaten. You need to see it beaten. Dude, I, I totally get it, man. I appreciate it. I've committed too. Like, at this point, there's no point in saving it for the next stream. Ow. I'm gonna use my E tank early. Which sucks. If he didn't just do the, the flamethrower, I'd be okay. Come <laughs> on. 
think I might do it this round. What? No! Oh no! And you told me tank too! Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, chat. I was so focused on staying on the platform that I didn't even notice that if I got hit, my life would be... Okay, next one. This next one's this next one's it. Is everything all filled? No. I don't need life. There we go. That's it, right? Yeah, just maybe some health. There. And here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for putting up with me. I uh, should probably just close this at the very beginning. I am bad at video games. <laughs> but I do enjoy them. Like, this challenge is like where it's at. Miss that. Smart. Tired of jumping. Just like you guys might be tired of watching. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I might need a break, but I'm fully committed at this point. It's like so hot in this room right now. <sighs> Jump button, please work.
I didn't want to use that yet. What am I doing? Adam's all messed up. <laughs> this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, there we go. Pattern super messed up. Okay. Took too many hits on that. I would clap, but like the microphone's right here, it probably hurt your ears. Oh my gosh. I can I can stop playing video games forever. I can finally did it. That was so much easier when when Mega Retro Man told me I could stand on the inner platforms and not get hit. I was trying to muscle my way through. Oh my gosh. This feels good. This feels good, chat. And I really appreciate all of you guys, uh, whoever's here, really appreciate you guys sticking around with me. I'm feeling kind of, uh, kind of generous because I, I worked so hard for that one. It was, it shouldn't have taken that long. But because you guys helped me out, I'm going to give out a couple stickers uh, if you guys want it. Normally these are given out as donation bonuses. Uh, but if you guys want it, you know, there's not a lot of you in the chat. If you guys want it, and since you guys stuck around and helped me out and beat this game, uh, you guys can have a sticker. Just a uh, full range of time to meet up or I can ship it out to you or something. Or if you guys are going to be at, at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, maybe I'll show up and we can exchange it there. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I can learn a thing from you. I can, I can definitely, I can learn a lot of things from you. <laughs> Mega Retro Man is probably the best retro game player that I know. Definitely cannot complain about this here. That one's for the gram. Man, I'm tired. I thought I'd be done with this, like almost an hour ago at least and then X2 I actually have not played X2 um, oh yeah if, if you guys do want a sticker just say it in chat um, just say that you do want one um, that way I can I can put you down for one but X2 I've never played through X2 surprisingly I've only played through like the first like intro level uh, when he's on the bike or something I played through X3, but that's probably just another. It's gonna be another uphill battle. So I'll put you one for, put you down for one, Cheshire Don. And I, I'm assuming the exclamation is from 
me not playing X2. Which is understandable. I missed out on a lot of really good games um, as a kid. Mostly because growing up I only picked up games from you want to get together and play through it yeah man I'll be down to do that uh, can try to do something like that I don't know how it works. I don't have much space in this room like the area that I stream in is like enough for me one person and I'm actually sitting on the ground like and the air circulation isn't that great <laughs> we'll figure something out uh, yeah I'll definitely hit you up when it comes time to play X2 I might take a small break from Mega Man X uh, right. the only X games I've beaten are X here and then uh, X3 yeah literal closet streaming you, you've got it right what's funny about this space is um it's kind of dirty right now but i'll show you guys real quick see how you can kind of tell that the roof slants right there like this is my whole space right there um this used to be an attic so uh Inside the bedroom, there's a small door, like, actually, like, this door here, it's, it's actually miniature, it's maybe, I don't know, under 5.5, five, under 5.4, and you have to duck down to uh, get inside the door. And, uh, this used to be an attic, a storage space, there was no drywall, there was no insulation, uh, there was no floor. It was just bare bones. There's one light bulb in here. No windows. And we took two weeks. It was uh, my dad, uh, myself, and my dad's cousin. And we spent two weeks to to turn this into actually like a livable space or a space that I could use for you know this type of stuff. I played through. X1 through 6, haven't spent enough time on X7 or X8. You know what, I, that's understandable. From what I've heard, they're not that great to begin with. Um, I mean, they deviated, don't they deviate uh, pretty far from the X series, the traditional X series? Oh no, you have won a temporary te uh, victory. Okay, with that, I guess we can do this. They really aren't. What did I say? They they really aren't as in uh, they're not X games or they're not devi deviated. Very soon. They aren't that great, yeah. Okay. Whew, that was a tough one. That was a a real uphill climb guys appreciate you sticking with me you guys will get your stickers really appreciate it we did the same and built a room in the garage but installed a window yeah I mean if I had more space then I I would definitely try to do more you know I'd, I'd like to be able to put everything I own into into one space like this whole all this here is Two bookcases of just Nintendo stuff. Uh, you know, I, I have a little bit of PlayStation stuff. You know, I don't really spend too much time on that. But 
Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'd like to have it all in one space. I, I do have like other memorabilia items. Like I, I have some, I don't know, some artwork. I have records um, that don't have proper storage space. You know, they're just kind of put into a corner right now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a work in progress. You know, every single, every six months or so, I end up rearranging this because it just it doesn't satisfy me um, or I get more games and yeah space is always an issue but, or I get more games or more things I just have no idea where to put them like for example um, recently I just picked up these games uh, it's Quirk Mario's Picross I showed these uh, a while back uh, Bubble Bobble Old and New and then uh, Super Dodgeball for Game Boy Advance. And these are, it's just four games, but right now I have a small little container that I put all my Game Boy games in, and they all fit perfectly in there. And um, they just, if I add these games into it, I have to get a different container or I have to get rid of games. And so, especially when it comes to these ones recently, I've acquired a decent amount of like NES games and, and SNES games recently and I actually ended up getting rid of like 14 games or something. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I mean I do like puzzle games uh, which is why I picked this up. This was found at Half Price Books. Uh, I think it was like four dollars. So it's not a bad pickup for that. But then you end up buying more games, and then the cycle continues. That's true. Um, it's it's kind of a running joke. Uh, if if you guys didn't know, Carrot is my fiance. Uh, she chimes in every now and then. We like to call her the Sass Queen uh, because she does have a lot of sass when she comes and gives me a lot of crap uh, for what I do and what I say. And uh, she'll vouch for me every single time that I do pick up something. Uh, there's a chance that I might just take all these games off the shelf and rearrange them to find, I don't know, find a way to put it on. Like for example, today, as part of the Nintendo 64 bundle that I found, uh, we picked up this guy here, Bomberman 64, the second attack. And uh, even though I already have this game I'm gonna be using this game to trade towards like a Worms Armageddon I really want to pick up Worms Armageddon um, for sentimental reasons as well as uh, wanting to play it because I do like Worms I like to Gunbound uh, and once I do get Worms Armageddon I'm gonna have no space for it like right now I have I don't know I'll move the mic I have these rows of N64 and then you see like these cartridges on top of it those cartridges yeah like I'd love to have them I'd love to have them just all in a row nothing on top nothing in front of them right now I have four of them displayed because they couldn't fit I uh, also like like this one here I this was part of the bundle too Mario Party 3 and this is the not for resale one it's just crossed out and this game I'd love to keep, you know, but I already have a copy of Mario Party 3. So what do I do? Do I get rid of my original Mario Party 3 or do I want to keep both? Um, or I have to find a new way to rearrange it. Or I have to find more games to just fill up this extra row of N64 and then I end up getting rid of a bunch of other things. I don't know. It's like... Problems. Collector problems. The struggle is real. Yeah, and, and that's when, that's, that's Carrot fulfilling her job right there, Sass Queen, you know. <sighs> you hate leaving spaces for more games, even though I know I will need more room later for more games. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried doing that before with the space I had before I had this many. 
um, I would leave gaps in them. I'm like, okay, I know, I know I'm gonna put, for example, Worms Armageddon. That's a, a game that I've been looking for ever since I started collecting, or uh, I don't know, avidly collecting back in 2012. And whenever my collection was on the shelf, I'd leave a space for it. I'm like, okay, one day I'm gonna get it, and then I'm gonna keep the space open. Uh, just in case so like it always has a spot save for it but right now it's just this is jam-packed I don't know what to do like I, I want to get rid of games but like some of them I just can't get rid of well like, I could get rid of some boxes like I have some box stuff that I could get rid of I'm not a huge box collector um, but then again I I don't really sell that much like I, I feel weird about selling like, I like going to trade nights to sell. I don't like going on eBay anymore. I used to do that back in college to make extra money, but... It's whatever. Or, like, behind me here, oh, here, like, those controllers, those collectible character Wii remotes. I'll eventually get rid of those, um, or put them away somewhere, find a place for them instead of the shelf, so I can make room for more games. You just build more shells when you need more room. That is... That sounds really nice. Um, right now there's no space in this room for that. <laughs> uh, I just need... I just need to get rid of some things. Like, I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll have to do a, a huge purge. I've, I've done a huge purge... Uh, recently, you know, over this past summer, um, I've gotten rid of a lot of things, but then bundles come up and I end up buying them because they're great deals and I like to use those for trade. And then I, I end up back at square one. Like, I get rid of. I'm, at the beginning of summer, I was like, I get rid of five games to acquire one, which was great, but now it's starting to become. I get one game, and I might get, no, I, I get two games, and then I give away one. So either way, I, I end up with an extra game. It's, it's bad. I need to cool my jets. Oh, that's cool. A buddy of mine just... Got to try out the HoloLens, the Microsoft HoloLens. Man, so what game do I play next? So far, I mean, I haven't been streaming very long. Uh, but so far I've been, been able to beat three games on stream, which is great. Uh, I failed at one game, which was Final Fight 1. Uh, but nobody's ever beaten that game. I, I'm sure of it. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, I've, I've beaten Super Castlevania 4, Boogerman on, on Genesis, and Mega Man X today uh, on Super Nintendo. So, so far, we're, we have a majority of uh, the games being played are Super Nintendo. Or 16-bit, I should say. An NES game. We could do an NES game. Um, the re... The, actually, the main reason why I didn't do NES game before... Oh, funny, this this song comes up. <laughs> Mega Man X3. Uh, oh, and, and just so you guys know, uh, while I am streaming, if I do have the music turned on, you know, the background uh, video game music, you can request music. So, for example, I'll pull this up here. And I don't have it on too often, but if you ever want to to listen to video game music, then I can definitely set that up. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so all you have to do is go into your chat, type this. So, exclamation point, song request, space, and then a link 
to the shared uh, YouTube link and it will add it to the playlist. So I have a playlist set up, but this one, when you request a song, it adds it to a separate playlist and it will jump it to the next song uh, once this one's finished. Um, I do ask that you keep it like retro, nothing licensed, just because these videos do go up onto YouTube um, because I'm not a partner on Twitch. I don't get to keep my my, bot, my video on demands, VODs. So that's, that's, if anybody wants to see that, if you're watching uh, not on stream and watching on the, the VOD, that's what you want to type. You can find it in chat. I typed it there. Exclamation point, song request, space, and then the link from the YouTube video that you want to listen to. And so if I were to click next, it's going to play that song. And that's the song that I've added. But anyway, back back to what I was saying, uh, NES game. So funny thing was, I actually got rid of my toaster NES, and that's what I use to capture gameplay because I have it plugged into an Elgato HD, and I actually ended up trading my toaster NES system uh, to my friend Game Boy Zero, who is the person who made uh, that little dinosaur down there that you see on screen walking and blinking um, he made that for me and I traded him a bunch of stuff including my toaster NES uh, as well as this song that you're hearing uh, it's my theme song quote unquote theme song that's going to be implemented into my other two YouTube videos um, which is still a work in progress and during that time I didn't have another toaster NES to capture with I only had a top loader which only outputs RF and there's no way to convert the RF into composite uh, without an additional unit which I did not want to buy but now I think recently I, I picked up another NES toaster so now I should be able to do NES and uh, that being said actually I should show you guys this too I have my whole collection on on VG collect so if you guys don't know what VG collect is it is uh, collection organization uh, database online you can use it uh, to add games you can keep track of your collection based on the system based on accessories based on hardware um, and other fun stuff so put it there uh, if you visit that link https colon backslash backslash uh, vgcollect.com slash digidestin you're going to be able to see my whole collection, or at least most of it in terms of the games. I think I'm missing a few still. Um, it's always changing because of the things I pick up. And for the most part, I should be able to capture things. So NES Famicom, I'm, I'm cool to capture. GameCube, I can do that. Uh, I can't do DS, 3DS. Um, I can do modern stuff too, like uh, a PS4. I've done Nintendo Switch already. Um, yeah, I mean, most of it, most of it is fair game. Maybe nothing. I don't know. Maybe avoid the JRPGs. <laughs> but anyway, I should probably get to bed. I've got a busy, busy day tomorrow. Um, again, I, I really appreciate you guys coming out, watching me butcher this game, and and I don't mean butcher as in like slay or or kill it. It's a uh, just butcher the gameplay. It's <laughs> that that should have been done 45 minutes before I actually was finished. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate it. I have you guys down for stickers. Uh, so the next time that we meet up, uh, I'll, I'll find a way to get those to you. But anyway, with that being said, again, appreciate for you, appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to get some shut-eye, and uh, you guys have a good night.